Hey Rachit, what's going on? Hey Gaurav. So I thought that I will go to a random people's house and then maybe ask them the product of their daughter's ages. <laughs> what I can give you is the ages of my cousins. But what fun would that be? Why don't you guess them? I'm going to tell you a number. Um, I have three cousins and their product is 36. The, your cousins can be multiplied. <laughs> Stop laughing at your own jokes, son. <laughs> Let's say that the product of the ages is 36. Okay. And uh, there is a sum of their ages too, surprisingly, uh, which you can find on the placard over there. Okay. Well, can you guess it? No. No? Well, I'll give you one more hint. The elder one likes to play football. Ah, wait a minute. Let me work this through. I think I have the answer to that. Do you know? Right. So guys, the problem is that I went to Gaurav's house and he told me the products of his cousin's ages. And there are three cousins. So the product of their ages, P1, P2, P3 is 36. All right. Then he also told me the sum of their ages, which you guys don't know, but I knew because there was a black card lying over here. So P1 plus P2 plus P3 is Something that I know. Let's call this S. Alright. But still this information was not enough for me to guess what the what the exact ages of his cousins were. But then he told me that his elder cousin likes to play football. So let's work this out. So I will write all the possible ages that his cousins can have which form a set of triplets. So let's iterate on those triplets. So one of the possible is 1 into 1 into 36. No. Another is to have 1 into 2 into 18. Then we can have something like 1 into 3 into 6, then 1 into 4 into 9, then 1 into 6 into 6, 2 into 2 into 9, 2 into 3 into 6, 3 into 3 into 4. And three cousins of Gaurav can have one of the possible triplets in, in terms of their ages. So let's also write the sum of each of these. So this has a sum of 38. This has 21, this has 10, this has 14, this has 13, this again has 13, this has 11, and this has 10. So the thing is, if on the black piece of paper, 38, 21, 14, or 11 was mentioned, I would have exactly known the triplet which would have told me the ages of his cousins. But this, that was not the case. As I mentioned, that I was really not sure what the ages of his cousins were. So let's remove them out of the picture. Because these are the sums which are really unique out of the possible answers we have. And now, since I have already seen the piece of paper, what was written on that was 13. So let's also remove 10. So if you are confused why did I remove 10 and not 13, it's because I, I already saw the uh, black paper and on that 13 was written. So after uh, so now I have two possible answers but still I told Gaurav that I am really not sure what the correct answer is. But then he told me the elder cousin loves to play football. If you will see in 166 there is there are two elder cousins. There is no one cousin who is the eldest among the rest of them. But in 229, we have that. So once he told that, I really thought that I think I know the answer and it's 229. What do you think, Gaurav? I have four cousins. No. Hey, Gaurav. Hey, Rajat. What's up? All oh, good. Oh. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Gaurav, um, I just wanted to know more about your family. Let's <laughs> restart that now. Well, can you guess it? No. No? No. Not too good a guesser, are you? Well, uh, the elder one likes to play football and uh, the younger... Okay, let wait a minute. But I was going to ask Well, I'll give you one more hint. The elder one likes to play football. Ah. So he loves Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> can you move there so that I can work here now? Wait, 
Wait, yeah. Is this better? Hey guys, uh, this is Gaurav. And this is Rachet. It's our first collaboration. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the problem was fun to solve. And if you want more such videos, please subscribe. And share this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.